Hello everyone, my name is Jitender Bhafna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In this video, we will going to see how to set up NGINX load balancer for your MuleSoft runtime. So basically load balancer is used to divide the traffic to the multiple instance. So basically you are getting the request on the load balancer and you are making sure that the traffic get divided uh, between the multiple servers right so your request can be shared served by you know uh, any of the server in the load balancer right so basically why we do the load balancer one of the purpose for load balancer is a high availability if one of the server goes down in that case the other server is available to accept the traffic other thing the load balance why we do the load balancer for the performance so basically what does load balancer do load balancer receive the traffic and distributed the traffic among the servers if there are three servers the traffic will distribute it among three servers okay so that is a few advantage we are getting from the load balancer so what is our use case for now so basically I have like I will be using the single laptop but in real time you will have a multiple machine and you will have a multi like a mule runtime installed on each machine and you will have a separate machine where you will keep your dedicated sorry you, you will keep your load balancer in my case I will keep everything on a single machine so basically I have a two mule runtime instance mule 1 and mule 2 okay so I will show you that so I have uh, like I have a two mule instance so in each instance I have a domain application deployed mule domain project okay and other mule 2 also I have a domain project deployed so basically uh, uh, the on mule 1 a domain project deployed on port 8000 whereas on mule 2 domain project is deployed on port 9000 okay then I have deployed one application that application is just giving this uh, like simple response like uh, so basically uh, this application is referred to a domain project so it will use the listener connection from the domain project so for one mule time it will use the listener connection wrestling on the port 8000 for one other uh, other runtime it will use the port 8000 and like it will give the response like you know when a response from lb8000 like response and from like uh, from other mule runtime it will give response from lb9000 i just change this port and i redeploy it okay now let me start the both the runtime first so i can go to mule runtime okay and in mule runtime you can go to you know even you see f folder i have already deployed the application i have a domain project in domains folder okay so I am just starting my mule runtime so under bin folder you can use mule.bat same thing I will do with mule2 even mule2 have a application deployed the same application only the text is changed so I will be test project domain also domain project this is on the listening on the port 9000 so I will start my runtime also okay so let let uh, it may take some time to, for runtime to get started not that much time just few minutes it will start it will uh, enable all your you know domain project and all your application now the next thing you can go to this page nginx.org slash en download.html and you can download the latest version of the load balancer so i i am using the windows i will use the windows one i can click here it will start downloading uh, nginx load balancer okay I can go to download uh, you can see uh, nginx that load balancer has been downloaded then I can say you can extract it here extract to ngna nginx so let me check the application is still starting it may take some time it will get start so you can see your nginx is there and paste it let we can start the ng once it get copied we will start it so i'm waiting for my application to get start so let's wait while runtime is starting so i can go to this nginx folder under this i need to start a nginx server so for starting nginx server i have to do start nginx 
okay so I'm starting the nginx server so then you can test it by using local host port 80 I'm sorry uh, is some wrong it's only local host port 80 so you can see your load balancer is up and running welcome to nginx so this is correct so still waiting for my application okay on one of the server application is started okay on both server the application is started so now let me test it so uh, I can close this particular thing so I have a like you know where is my rest client so let me open my rest client Google or I have a advanced yeah, this is my advanced REST client. I can use this. Still, we haven't set up the load balancer. We have to do the configuration. Okay, on ng on nginx server. So my advanced REST client is starting. So right now, if I put request to lb uh, localhost lb test, so it's not found, right? Still, it's not load balancing. But let me do. I have deployed application on 8000 so it should give response for application 8000 so I get the response from the load balancer 8000 and not load balancer from application on port 9000 now it will say response from 9000 that is what so we are getting two different response okay so that is correct that is expected behavior right now we haven't set it uh, set up the load balancer and they are acting as a separate you know uh, separate instances so now we will do set up the load balancer for setting up the load balancer you can go to nginx folder com okay under com you will find a com file you can say edit with notepad plus plus okay so here what you have to do you can say something like that up stream no, you have to go one line below you can say up stream you can give the name any name I will say jack server under this you can define a server which is local host 8000 right 8000 is one of the server and the other server is local host 9000 okay so this is the thing you need to define okay so uh, sorry so you need to define our upstream jack server you know and so currently currently the location is point to index.html if you say you know if you are saying this is the index.html but I want to redirect a request to this any of these two servers right so what I will do I will remove this content from here then I can say proxy pass then you can say HTTP local not localhost you have to give the sir this name you have to say I want this particular I want to redirect to this particular server okay then you can say proxy set header okay so see I can copy from here I know that you know proxy set header host and dollar host so you can say host dollar host okay so this is the settings you need to do so basically I am defining these are the two server if you have more server in the load balances you can add it here so right now I have a like domain project running on 8000 and 9000 so two mule runtime instance 8000 and 9000 then the location this is the jack server which I have no, whatever upstream I define, I have to point it, it point out here. I am saying these are the my servers in the load balancer. Then this is host. We are setting some headers. Okay, save this file. Okay, close it. Now you have to go back and you have to update the configuration. So simple, you can use the command nginx minus s reload. I think proxy pass have some issue I think spelling mistakes is there yeah I think let me check 
I think I know that. I think we don't have to put. Okay, I have to put this particular thing. I forget to do that. Now save it. Then try to reload it again. Let's see what happens. So yeah, now it has been successfully reloaded. Okay. So let's check. Now let me first check individual request. It's working. Eight thousand. Still, I am not sending the request to the load balancer. Okay, eight thousand. This is correct. Now I will show you one more thing. So, what is my server? Uh, so basically, it's you can define your server name in here. It's localhost eighty, listening on port eighty. Okay. So what I can do? I can go to localhost and I can say port eighty. So this is my load balancer URI. I can send the request. So I got response from eight thousand. Response from nine thousand, right? It it is sending in round robin fashion. Response from nine thousand again. Response from eight thousand. You can see that, right? So now you can see your request is getting load balancer between two mule run times. So generally in real world scenario, those two mule run time will be on the different server, and load balancer will be on the some different server basically. Okay, so that is how you need to set up. the load balancer using nginx i you know i hope you like this video if you like this video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching